shirt because what you want to do is make this something you really want to take with you all the time. And that way you keep it in your car, you keep it with you, you can hang it on your shoulder when you go into the grocery store or any store. This is a shirt, it's going to become a bag. So you make it as long as you want it. So I don't necessarily want it that long because that would be too heavy. So I might cut off the bottom a little bit. And you want to keep it nice and straight because that's going to impact the quality. So you can measure if you're like a really into the measuring thing. Okay. I'm just, you know, winging it. But this is an old shirt. So I don't wear it anymore because I got a couple spots on it. And I should, you know, still wear it. But I said, no, I'm going to make a reusable bag out of it. So you just cut off the bottom. And it really helps to have sharp scissors. These are not as sharp as I would like, but they still work. As long as it cuts, right? Yep. So you can cut it any which way. I just do it like this because then I don't have to measure. This is a completely no-sew process. The process is easy for anyone to do. You can do it with kids. Uh, you might have to help really little ones, but and I use rounded scissors. I'm a safety guy. All right, so I only want my bag this long. So now what I do is I cut out the sleeves. And you're going to see in a minute, it is going to become a t-shirt bag. And I don't know if you know this, but those plastic bags that you get in the grocery store that you're not going to get anymore because you're going to have this, they are called t-shirt bags because they kind of look like a t-shirt. So cut off the sleeves. You can cut them here. You can, If you decide you want it there, I think I'm going to cut mine here because that might give me a little more strength with that extra little sewing that was done. So you're cutting on the other side of the seam. I'm cutting on the other side of the seam because that might give me a little more strength to my bag. And so there's, and by the way, you see I didn't throw those in the trash either. There is a recipe for making pot holders out of the rest of the what's left over. So, and what I have here, because I'm trying to be zero waste, is very small handouts. Those are more like if someone wants to sit down and make one. Um, I, I have those, but there's a QR code on each one. So if someone wants to just come by and say, no, I don't even want that paper. They can just scan it with their phone, open up your camera, scan it, and then you've got the recipe for making these t-shirt bags. And I am not gonna take full credit. So I got this off the internet, these directions, and I sort of modified them and made them a little bit more step one, step two, step three. So I'm not taking full credit for this idea. Hmm. Ira's the one, Ira Joseph, who many of you know, showed me that he was at a, I guess, a outdoor event like this, and he saw this, and I said, I can get the directions. So now you decide, so some of you are going to be just, oh my gosh, I want this exactly perfect at the top. So I, what I did was I brought a little pencil, and if you want to make it exactly perfect before you start cutting, you can tell I'm not a, I'm not a perfectionist, I'm more into utility. You can draw a line first so that you get exactly the cut you want. And this shirt I had already cut out a piece, so I kind of it kind of limited me. But some people like to measure, you know, okay, exactly from here to here. I, I'm going to be using this not uh, in any way that I care. So I'm just I'm sort of eyeballing it. All right. So here we go. Cutting out, and you're going to see it's going to start looking like a bag before you know it. Okay, see here? I just made a handle. Nice. And like I said, you can be 
take your time. Uh, use sharper scissors if you have them. I love this shirt because it says the word of the most important thing that kids and adults need to do is play. So I know that I will take this everywhere. So, all right, so now, either that or I'll tell you what, these make amazing little, if you cut these into little pieces, they make amazing little glass. and I did it just casually, it, but it's usually about two to three inches of fringe. And then you just start left to right. And if you notice, like there's a little hole at the bottom that those two aren't tight enough, you can tie left to right. Usually what you do, you're doing is tying the uh, one, the two, fringes that are right on top of one another like this and it makes a really tight seal these, and then these are washable because I used a washable shirt so when it gets dirty and it will you can just wash your shirt and like you wash wash your bag like you'd wash your shirt but it's amazing how the tying stays tight because fortunately or unfortunately most of our clothing has plastic in it and the plastic in the shirt actually helps to bind the ties together so it would be great if all our stuff was all cotton and all natural fiber but very little is so you can see what you're doing is making the bottom of your of your bag and now you got a little bag and you carry it like this if, if it was all tied at the bottom and it carries your groceries and I made a smaller one and just to demonstrate that you can make a smaller one or leave your shirt long but I can't carry much because my I'm not strong enough so I made a smaller one because that's all I want to carry <laughs> 